my people my people thank you very much my name is marindo i thank you for taking into my channel if it's your first time thank you very much if you're my new subscriber thank you very much today is just a room without a help my people my head is itching okay i did my hair that's my new hairstyle it's my new hair Mm -hmm. Oh, this is my hair. My hair took two, it was two hours. She did it, she took two hours to do the hair. Oh, my people. I had to dr drink Talano. I drank Talano. So follow us and enjoy and see the block of today Marindo. Today was a day that um, it was a clean up day. The kids were sleeping. Thank God they slept. Um, it was during the daytime. And my mom was in around. My mom went to my brother's place. My husband was at work. So I decided to clean everywhere. And fast before the kid got up from sleep. As I was cleaning, I had to vacuum. Then I have to... Um, after vacuum, I have to dry clean. It was just a day, and then I remember that um, in my before I went to like give my to register in the university. You know, after you've been accepted back then, you have what they call like form B. Form B is where you sign your courses, like the courses, like your major. And then on your major now, you have to pick some courses, take some classes then for that first semester. So for some reason, I keep making mistakes in my form B. I guess I mistake my major, because I major in English theater art. And the person, when I go back to show, the person keep correcting me. Was one lecture and I was not getting it and he wasn't nice at all. I know before you sign your form B, you have to go to the DO's office. It's a long line. Back then, they will not even mind if you have a disability. You stand on the line like other people. So I have stood on that line and I was tired. That was my first time to ever do such a job like that. You know, before everything was being done for me, but 
then my brothers were not around. Yeah, I was forced to do that by myself, my people. The line was long. The process of entering the taxi with my brace. Oh my God. After that process, I have to go now and stand. I was being rejected. I was tired. I felt like just to, you know, in time you just want to faint. I started crying as I was crying, shouting, screaming. I didn't care about nobody. I felt like just giving up that no. Let me just go and sit home then. But with my mother always said, you know, sometimes when I come back where my mom would tell me, my dear, come out and stay with me. I don't like to see you crying. If you're tired, the insult, the struggle, why don't you give up it? I knew of one thing that I had a dream. I have a dream. And my dream cannot be accomplished. I have I need education to accomplish my dream. I need to achieve my I need I need knowledge and I have to acquire it through education. My dream has to be fulfilled. Not because I'm physically challenged. That day I cried. I feel like giving up then when I was crying, my late teacher, um, Dr. Batebisong, late Batebisong had to call for me. Akaya, no, he called for me then when he saw my, my, um, from B. He recognized my name, said, I know your father. Your father was a very rich, your father is, my father was, is alive then. Your father is a very rich man, I know your father. He was just attracted to me. He was just glow. I guess because of my condition, he took that paper and filled everything out for me. My people, he filled everything for me. And I felt so comfortable. He told me not to cry. He told me not to cry, which was a big relief. But when I went home that day, I was crying and shouting. My mom had to run now. And then after, in the evening time, when I went around the scripture from Jeremiah 29 11, I know the plan I have for you, plan to, a plan of good to give you a good future, to make you better. All that good, good things like that, they make me stronger. And I lean more on the word of God. I begin to ask God, Father, see me to be my refuge. And so far, God has been faithful. If you're watching me, I don't know what you're passing through. The whole on God, he will never let you down. He's the king of kings and he's the lord of lords. My people, my people, I want to appreciate everyone. Just courage. If you are beside any person with a physical challenge, just be nice to them. Encourage them. Give them your time. Give them, support them whatever you can support. Some of them need financial support. Some of them don't even need your money. They want you to help them, maybe carry the water, maybe just smile with them, create time even just go talk to them. Talking alone will heal most of them. Some of them, some have been rejected. They have nobody to talk to them. I don't know, just be a help, just save a life by being nice. They are the minority. They need someone to be nice to them. If you're a mother of a physically challenged, you just have to be nice also you just have to do your best and go to finish your race you are the first teacher that that child is seen you are the greatest mentor that that baby is seen so you have to be very optimistic you have to be very supportive positively because your baby is looking on to you if the war is not nice to your baby you need to be nice to your baby my people i appreciate everyone again my name is Marindo. We do daily vlog for now. Keep on watching. We come every day. At every day for now. See you in my next video. Marindo. My people, most of my videos, I try to bring stories related to my scoliosis. I have scoliosis. You can see that. That's a curve in my spine. They will call that a pigeon hunchback. When I was going as the name I was being called hunchback, I bear the English name. You know, when I went to school and I heard of scoliosis, I came I brought a head of scoliosis. And I came, I grew so fast seeing myself like that. 
as I can remember. And I just want to encourage people with physically challenge watching my video. Everyone without you can have another challenge, but you have to be encouraged no matter your situation. Just help and trust on God. There's no other person be Reverend Akaya. You can watch him. That's my pastor. Pastor of God Power Healing Ministry. He comes on YouTube, Facebook on Sunday from 11.30 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And on Tuesday from 7 p.m. to 7, 9 p.m. Fellowship and follow us online on YouTube and Facebook if you are around Georgia on Facebook if you are around in Georgia come and fellowship God Power Healing Ministry he is the man of God very faithful and he will give you the raw word of God he does not compromise he will give you what he's supposed to give not just to pamper you that you're going to become a millionaire in the two days you're going to he's going to guide you and lead you Read the morning of the session. Yes.